Good afternoon, Humbus. This is your girl, Miss Books, to you, coming to you today with a moment in Black history featuring Miss Ella Shepard, born February the 4th, 1851, and passing away June the 9th, 1914. When Ella was a little girl, her slave mother discovered that their mistress had trained Ella to spy on her. In agony of soul and despair, her mother ran to the river with her, intending to drown little Ella. However, the chorus of Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, a song Ella would later teach the Jubilee Singers, has been attributed to the words of an elder that came to her rescue. Soon after this incident, Ella's father was permitted to purchase the three-year-old girl for $350 and to take her to Nashville. Her mother, however, was forced to remain a slave in Mississippi. Ella's father eventually remarried another enslaved woman whose freedom he was permitted to purchase for $1,300, but the creditors threatened to seize his new wife when his business fell. The family fled to Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, Ella started school. She studied piano and took voice lessons with a prominent white teacher who recognized her talent and agreed to instruct her only on the condition that she enter her home through the back door and come only at nighttime. At 15, Ella moved to Tennessee, just north of Nashville, to assist with education of freed slaves. Quickly realizing that she was not really qualified to be a teacher, Ella saved six dollars over the next five months and enrolled at Fisk in the fall of 1868. Shepard married Fisk graduate George Moore upon returning to Nashville in 1878. In addition to her various social and political activities, Moore paid for education of several Fisk students, including her half-sister. In June of 1914, Ms. Moore became ill after giving a commencement address at the Trinity School. Just a few days before the graduation from Fisk of her youngest son, Ella Shepard Moore passed away at the age of 63. This is a moment in black history and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great night.